Right yeah, I was about to say we're probably going over some of the fishable water right here. Yeah, oh, look, you see that up there? Uh -huh. Fish just moved. Come on, fish. Eat it. I just saw you up there. Oh yeah, I did get him. <laughs> well, well he go. he's just he's not feeling so hot. He's a uh, oh boy. Well, he's tired. <sighs> Told you. On the square bill too. Told look you. Up shallower. Yeah, look at his crushers. That's a good one right there, Corey. That's three. Might be three pounds. It's close to three at least. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Oh, he's bleeding. Get you. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, like I mentioned in my last video, um, my last cranking video on Weed Alley, I wanted to do a follow-up on uh, uh, just a few tips that I've learned through the years. I'm no, by no means the greatest uh, crankbait fisherman, but I spend a ton of time doing it. And uh, there are some things that I've learned, particularly on Widawi, that uh, may help you catch uh, a few more fish. So uh, I put together a list of five things. So let's get started with them. Number one is uh, most people don't crank fast enough. Um, lots of times uh, when I'm not getting bit, my natural reaction is to slow down and a lot of times that's the absolute opposite thing that you should do um try speeding up uh, i'll throw a seven to one uh gear ratio a seven to three gear ratio and lots of times i'll be almost burning that thing i mean just you know going uh to try to get a little erra uh, erratic movement um and for that bait to just come by that fish's face so fast that he just re reacts to it. I mean, it's just a an impulse thing. And the way they hit it when you're when you're cranking that thing, um, lots of times it's like a uh, it's like a jerk bait type bite where your your connection to the bait will just go slack, and you'll just have to reel up the slack. That's how that big one in the last video hit it. You'll notice that I'm reeling up. That fish probably came at me 10 feet before I actually pulled the slack out and pulled tight right by the boat. Um, so real fast, um, that's probably the number one thing that, uh, <clears throat> that I think could help people catch more fish. Number two, and it's a close second, is bury your retrieve. Burn it, pause, burn it, pause, um, even twitch your bait. Uh, twitching a crankbait can be deadly. Uh, I know not a lot of people talk about that, but it's true. Um, any of you guys that have spent any time with a crankbait know that sometimes uh, that bait will get lodged on a, a log or a rock. You'll pop it off and it'll sit there and then you'll go to winding it. That sudden movement when a bass is looking at it is all it takes for, for uh, that bass to react to it. So uh, a little variation on that uh, can really get you a couple more fish. All right, number three. And this is another good one that was actually in that video. A lot of people are afraid or they don't believe in the winter time that uh, three, four, five pound bass will live in this much water, but they do. Um, I've caught hundreds of bass on Weed Alley in the winter time on water that's that deep. Um, they're just, they're there, they're not there all the time, but there will be days when they're up there, and I mean shallow, shallow, Sometimes a crankbait isn't the best choice. Maybe a chatterbait, maybe a fluke, maybe a swim jig uh, might be a little bit better option. But um, when they're up there shallow, they will still eat a crankbait too. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to 
you know, you throw up there, you got to hold your rod tip high, kind of feather it, you know, through. Um, but, you know, don't be afraid to throw into really, really, really skinny water. When you're, when you're out there and you're like, man, my trolling motor's in the, you know, kicking up dirt right now and it's trimmed up. There's no way there's one way back there. Give it a toss or two. You might be surprised. Um, X3, number four, uh, don't be afraid to throw around cover, right? Um, trees, rocks, riprap, um, the more you can deflect off of anything, um, the more you can get bit. And when you are cranking on that rock or that, that, that stump or that, that lay down, when you hit something, don't try to pull it through it. Pause, let that crankbait rise a little bit, and then ease it back over uh, that limb. Lots of times that bass, when that crankbait's coming through, your line's up over this limb, and it'll go like this, and it'll stop. Well, you give it slack, and it'll back out, and then you'll come down. Well, that bass is sitting right here, and when that bait comes over that limb, that's when he'll get it. Oh so many times i mean that's just that's just textbook so uh think about that um and the last one uh this is a tip it's maybe not a mistake but it is a tip um for me uh in the winter time you can throw as light a line as you want to um all the way through february okay um you could even go to six pound if you really wanted to, if you thought it made that big of a difference. I stop at eight, eight pound, but as the, as the lake gets colder and colder, you'll hook three, four, five pound fish and they'll just give up halfway to the boat. Um, they're just so cold. They've got enough energy to run down that bait and eat it real quick, but they don't have the energy that they're gonna have in the springtime. Um, they're going to they're gonna come eat that thing. They're going to get hooked, fight, tug a couple times. Then it's going to be like a wet sock coming to the boat a lot of the times. Uh, not always, not always, um, but a lot of the times it will be like that. So um, don't be afraid to, to throw, you know, six pound, eight pound, experiment with it, especially if you're throwing like little balsa baits. Um, a shad wrap or something like that. Throw that six pound on there. Get that thing out there. And, um, it's, it's just my opinion too. When you're throwing a little balsa bait like a, a DT4 or a, a shad wrap or something like that, to me, it's just my opinion. I think the lure itself has a better action on a lighter line. Um, it, it definitely gets more bites. I don't know why, but it does. So try that. Um, and that's it. I think that's I think that's pretty much got it covered, guys. I appreciate you. Um, if you've got any tips uh, that you'd like to share, leave them in the comment section below. I'm always looking to learn. It's one of my favorite things to do. If you if you've been on my channel at all the last two or three years, um, probably I've got more shallow water cranking. Uh, videos than anything else so that and, and, and a jig is probably fishing a jig is probably my two favorite things so anyway thank you for watching uh, like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, we'll catch you next time